Okay, so this video is a kind of disappointing one because I have an announcement to make as to why the footage is the way it is in this video. The first part of this video, I already knew I wasn't going to be able to film it because it was Boston Spa, which you guys know I can't film at, but that was a fun gig. But the second and third gig, I did have really good go for a footage of but uh the unfortunate news is here um my desktop which i had the gopro footage copied onto because i copied off onto my desktop when i had needed to just go with the sd card and have a cleared card for the next gigs i had the ssd died and i lost the footage so, just a quick lesson in the fact that you need to back your shit up. Even the most basic thing, because, I mean, thankfully, my music library, I have multiple, and I mean multiple backups, and also, I have switched completely to internal SSD-only storage. But again, now, I don't even know if I could trust that, but I again, I have multiple backups, external hard drives, everything I can possibly possibly get backed up for my music I'd will and now like any of my videos I'm gonna start backing up on drive as well but anyways guys um moving forward learning our lesson here is the um footage from three gigs and I'm there might be footage from more I don't know I have to see what I put together and also going to talk about um the latest piece of gear that I had bought so no gig video tonight because the school is a strict no media school. But uh, take a look at the setup and then post this at the end of another gig vlog. You recognize this place from 2018 and 2017. But up lighting's different and speakers and mixer and everything are pretty much different. Like they were every year. So starting off, two e T uh, ETX on each side, CLX for center field, ETX is for subs. DJ 1000 SRT, laptops, mixer rack, laptops, and a bunch of uplights. So we're at gig one today. You notice the speaker right there is covered. We're doing a color thing. And if you also notice, this isn't my new laptop. We're having laptop issues. And I have a wedding today, but this is always why you bring two laptops. So the gig ended early, and um, it was basic. It was just like a uh, kind of like a color me rad sort of thing, even though it's not them. It's just the elementary school that organizes it. And I'm going to go get some pizza because I have time. Um, but anyways, the problem with my laptop was it does this weird thing where it like sometimes if you hard shut it because I blew, I blew screen when I started up, which I have to get the laptop serviced. Um, but it's it's fine. It's just when it get the batteries like low the graphics card fails or something weird um, But anyways, um, and I know you're gonna say get a Mac I whatever. I have a PC because I do um, like some like forensic stuff and the forensics tools are on PC um, anyways, um, so I was saying I'm gonna pop the door open so it's a little cooler because now it's warm um, So the issue is is where I did a harsh shut and it shuts down, but it's not, it's still on, and it's like will not let me do a hard shot. It's really weird. And so the fix usually is to remove the battery, and I didn't have a precision screwdriver set because it uses a small Torx bit. So I uh, went took a quick drive on the way to my next gig to uh, I don't know if you can see it Harbor Freight to buy one and put the back off in the parking lot and. Next in. So let's go get some pizza. So here we are at the uh, beautiful Bluebird Farms. Beautiful fall day, perfect day to do it. Weather is great. It was cold this morning, but it's good now. We take a look at our ceremony setup. Running virtual DJ. I'm still not fully on iPad. And this is the rack. Two handhelds and two lapels. And an XR running lapels. Um, iPads running mixing station for control. This is my notes. Then we got uh, ETX, which is also reception speaker, which is going to go inside. So over there you can see cocktail hour setup, which is a ZLX with an iPad. 
and my uh, laptop is outside, but SRT 1000, sound switch, back of laptop, and brand new additions, what I was talking about in the last one, both lighting S6s all around, and they're currently off, even though the battery life is brand new on them, a ton of them, the S6 mains to be exact, I love these lights, hit up either Rick Webb or I went straight to both lighting, um, Cheryl. She's awesome. One of them even had a crack in the lens on the top, and I was able to reach out to her, and she shook me the fuck out. Okay, you can hardly see me, uh, but we're back in the car. Um, and um, now that I'm like in the area I know, because this was a long drive, beautiful. I wish I had the dash cam recording to show you guys the fall foliage, the beautiful upstate New York. Um, but anyways, weather was good. A um, few things. Um, we did have, like, very last minute we added um, garter and bouquet. Like, we, they just decided there at the wedding to do it, which, I mean, it wasn't bad. It's just they didn't have any songs picked out, so I just did did, did like, some usual stuff. Like, intros come completely changed last second so like we had an order we talked it over in a few meetings then I guess they added and removed people on the fly so I mean I kind of just wrote down who was in order and I actually did better than I usually do thinking completely on the fly so I'm not complaining about that um, again number one tip is be good at doing stuff on the fly also tip that I should have known better on uh, because um, I didn't know I was going to be in an area without service. I thought I had the, cup, the area downloaded, but make sure you download your maps. So, like, I use Waze primarily for uh, <laughs> obvious reasons. And then I use Google Maps, usually when I don't have service where I'm just driving short, short periods. Loads, Google Maps loads faster. So, again, in Google Maps, you can download offline. You can't always, but you can download an entire coverage range so that you don't need to be connected to cell service to use it, which is really helpful for gigs like this where I had no cell service. And I had never been there before, so I did not know the way. So I kind of drive up the road and guesstimate and go off of a little bit that was saved. So it wouldn't start my navigation without it, and I don't have a dedicated GPS or a car or GPS or whatever. That's besides the point. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, stay tuned. Next weekend, I got another big homecoming. And teaser, let's just say they are getting a lot of lighting. Anyways, guys, 